puzzle, how this puzzle works, so there's a nail in there. And then the, the point of the puzzle is how do you get that nail out without breaking anything, without bending anything. So it's a super easy puzzle to build, but a really hard puzzle to solve. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you how to make the puzzle. You could click in the link for the template uh, of the plans of the wood block. And then um, after I'm done showing you how to build the puzzle, I'll show you how to solve it. top saw cross cut to get our fifth edge surface and then cut to length surfaced on six sides okay I'm all surfaced on four sides ripped to two inches wide then I'm surfaced on four so first thing I do on my block here is I cross cut to get the edge perpendicular I have it clamped and I'm holding firmly fingers never in the path of the blade do not use this saw unless you've been properly trained so now I'm surfaced on five sides. I'm going to measure four and a quarter down. So I measure four and a quarter. Then on that mark, this is my key piece. This is my scrap. Even though my scrap's larger, I'm still going to take my blade width and put it into my scrap. So that's it right there. And clamp it down, hold it firmly. Now I have my block of wood for my project, surfaced on all six sides, I plane. Um, this is jointed, rip parallel, cross cut perpendicular, and then cut to length. I'm gonna do my layout next using the combination square. So I'm gonna come down an inch, the overall block's two inches, so I'm gonna come down an inch. Um, and I'm three quarters in. So let me just mark these first to get an idea. And then I'm going to set this combination square now to three quarters of an inch. Because everything's perpendicular, I'm going to come over three quarters. This way. Over three quarters. This way. And from there, I'm going to come over an inch. There, three quarters, and then it should be an inch from there to there. And now I'm going to set this combination square back to an inch. draw all these marks in, there's that one. Come across there, across there. These are my scraps, so I gotta make sure my blades go in there when I'm on the bandsaw. Three quarters of an inch, one inch, three quarters of an inch, one inch, three quarters of an inch, and overall four and a quarter by two, and this is um, 13 16 poplar. It, it is important that's poplar and the grain layout goes this way. So let's go to the bandsaw next. Yeah, this really starts coming out. You see it's not too 
height. You don't want to see any sparks. You don't want to bind the blade. And if you can't make, uh, yeah, yeah. And then just gently back up a little bit. Don't put your finger in front of the blade. Back it up a little bit. And then you, what you're doing now is you're cutting a release cut to get a little more room in there. Okay. Yep. He just knocked that block out. Don't reach for it. Yep, perfect. And then now you can go in. And keep those fingers out of the path of the blade. Nice and gentle and slow. And perfect. Let's take a look at it. Now we're just going to yeah. soak it in water overnight. I stop it. Yep. We've used three tools so far the table saw, the miter saw, and the band saw. Um, these things have been soaking for probably 12 hours. We also do a little bit of layout and also um, talked about wood properties, the way the grain lays. This is poplar and all the grains go in this way. So that's an important part of the project. So now we're going to take this block and put it in a vise, leave it in there overnight. We'll let it dry all compressed. And like in the vise here, I'm going to clamp it down. You can actually just see the water running out of it. I'm going to clamp it down. You can see it actually dripping on the floor there. So it's clamped down pretty good. Okay, so here it is, dried overnight. You could have drilled it when it's wet, or you could drill it um, while it's dry. But as you unclamp it, you can see that it's really holding that compression. Um, so it's holding that smashed inside there. And then you put in the vise to drill it. You're really trying to stay centered. And a little bit up high. So there it is. There's a hole drilled. And I just slide the nail right in there. And then now that the nail's in there, I'm going to put it back into the tub. This is going to expand out. Um, and you'll see it'll go right back to its natural shape. Soaking. So we drilled the hole um, when it was compressed in. Put the nail in, just threw them back in the bucket of water for a little bit. And you could see they really reformed the shape that they had. So now I'm just going to take it out of the water now that it's reformed its shape. Uh, lay it out on some paper towels, let it dry for a few hours, and then I'm going to clean it up a little bit by sanding. It'll be all dried. So you see the nail there plays in here. There's some marks here and here from clamping. So I'm just going to clean it up. I'm going to use a disc sander. Here it is. Here's the first product, sanding all that out. This is really my intro project. Um, super easy bandsaw project, but there are three skill sets I'd like the students to take away from this. They rip to width, so use the table saw, cross cut to length using the miter saw, use the band saw, and then some sanders. I did, I like that hole at the end is a puzzle because as you try and solve this puzzle, you know, people think that's part of the solution, that hole in there. So it'll slide in there, um, but you can't figure it out. So it's a great puzzle. It also teaches properties of woods. Um, really easy bandsaw project. Uh, and then the solution, of course, is that you have to soak it in water and recompress it to get the nail out. Kids will break it um, to get it out, but the point of the puzzle is properties of wood. So if you like this video, um, please hit subscribe down below. Um, comment if you have a better take on this puzzle. Uh, I enjoy it. It uh, teaches skills. It is kind of a fun puzzle to have. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And comment and thumbs up. Subscribe.